This is Congresswoman Jackie Speer, Democrat of California and member of that House Intelligence Committee with Chairman Nunes. Congresswoman, thank you for being with us with a quick warning that when we hear House Speaker Paul Ryan, I may have to interrupt you. But I want Got to it. talk about kind of all the headlines here, starting with what Casey referenced, which was the decision to scrap all of these committee meetings for the week. What can you tell us about why that decision was made, what you were told about it and when it's going to be rescheduled? So we were very uh, disappointed, actually outraged, when the hearing on Russia, which was supposed to take place today at 10 o'clock, was um, canceled. We weren't even told about it. Uh, instead, as you remember, uh, Chairman Nunes um, had a press conference in which he said we needed to meet with uh, Director Comey uh, in closed session along with uh, Admiral Rogers at the NSA. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's not taking place either. Uh, they wanted to shut down uh, the visuals of this committee in open uh, talking about the connections between the Russian uh, camp between the Russians and the Trump campaign. So uh, they have really, I think, had such a profound impact on our ability to do an independent investigation. I'm, I'm deeply troubled by it. And how were you told about this? Did somebody from Congressman Nunes's office reach out to you guys directly from the Intel Committee? No. No, absolutely not. Uh, it was through rumor. So, you know, all of the appropriate... So wait, you found out through the media reports that you wouldn't be having any intel meetings this week? That's right. That's and you have, correct. You have not seen the document. First of all, that's unusual, right? Oh, everything is unusual about this. I mean, it is profoundly inappropriate, to say the very least, um, what has happened. The normal bipartisan nature of this committee, where the, the chair and the ranking member uh, cooperate, coordinate, all of that is out the window. And it, it smacks of a hunkering down by the White House and the chair of this committee to shut this committee down and its investigation. I am. I'm very convinced that that's what the, what the game plan is right now. What do you mean by that, Congressman? Because you mentioned that this morning, that there is an effort underway, you said, to shut this committee down, an effort by the president. What does that mean? How would the president be trying to shut this committee down? What do you think is happening? Well, I don't think the president wants this investigation to move forward. It could implicate his campaign, even him, uh, in uh, the Russian meddling of our elections. When. Director Comey came out last week with a bombshell that not only was he looking at what might have gone on by Russia trying to intervene in our election, he made it very clear that they were also looking at those within the Trump campaign and whether or not they were colluding with the Russians. That was a bombshell. And I think once that came out, uh, the, the there was a... Uh, reassessment by the Republicans as to whether or not this should be moving forward. And so this, it, it's really aberrant behavior so, to have a chair in the dark of night um, go over to the White House. He says it was the middle of the day, right? Well, whatever it was, <laughs> there's evidently no record of him going over there. The truth of the matter is that if he wanted to look at documents that were in a skiff. He could have gone to the skiff right here in the Capitol. He could have brought in the individual who was providing him that information to look at it uh, through the secure network in the skiff. So uh, the, no, none of this adds up. Uh, I want to ask you about your call for him to not just recuse himself but resign. But first, I want to get you uh, on the record here on a story that is just now breaking out of the Washington Post. And I want to be clear that NBC has not substantiated this reporting. But in the last couple of minutes here, and this is relevant to our discussion, the Post says it reviewed a series of letters uh, to the former acting attorney general, Sally Yates, in which she was notified by the Justice Department that the administration considers her possible testimony in front of your committee or other committees uh, to be barred from discussion in a congressional hearing because the topics are covered by the presidential communication privilege. I know you haven't had time to process this piece, but on first glance here in my read, does that sound like it holds water to you? Uh, it sounds like a, an effort to try and muzzle persons who have um, information and um, the ability to shed light on this investigation. Uh, what can you do about it? You've, you've asked Congressman Nunes, or you've asked Chairman Nunes to not just recuse himself, but resign from the committee altogether, right? It seems like it's not going to happen. Let me tell you why I think that's important. If this is going to be a, a, a true investigation, um, most of the staff 
in the um, Intelligence Committee are you know, placed there by the chair uh, on the Republican side. So um, how do you separate um, yourself from your boss uh, if your boss asks you a question, for instance, um, on something that you're recusing yourself from? I really think for the good of the country, uh, for the good of this committee, it would serve uh, Chairman Nunes to uh, resign as the chair of this committee. I know it's, it's a hard one, but you know, actions matter. And the actions he took uh, cast a very dark cloud on this committee's deliberations. Members of his own party on the Senate side are basically uh, saying that this committee um, cannot do its job now. Let me ask you a couple more quick questions here before I let you go, Congresswoman. I know you have other uh, business to attend to, but you, you said that you believe that the administration is trying to muzzle, essentially, information coming out of the House Intelligence Committee. So as a Democrat on that committee, I'll ask again, what can you do? What recourse do you really have? Well, first of all, I think whatever letter uh, former uh, Acting Attorney General Sally Yates received, uh, I want to have it reviewed by okay. our legal counsel to assess. You know, there, are, there is a separation of powers here. Uh, there's a separation between the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch. So our efforts to investigate um, in closed session cannot, I don't believe, um, be uh, prevented by the executive branch under a presidential um, exception. Um, if Chairman Nunes, let's say hypothetically he does recuse himself, and again, there is no indication he is planning to do that at all, uh, you have said you don't trust now Chairman Nunes. If he does recuse himself, it's likely the Congress Gowdy would end up chairing the Intel Committee. Do you trust Congressman Gowdy to run this Actually, investigation? Trey Gowdy and I have worked together on a, a number of issues over the years. Mm -hmm. um, I respect his intellect. Uh, I respect him as a person. He's a tough inquisitor, um, but I think that uh, nonetheless, he, um, he has a great deal of um, uh, gravitas. Um, does, reading between the lines, Congresswoman, does that indicate that you do not respect Devin Nunes? No, I, I, I don't respect what he did. I, I think Devin Nunes is a, a fine American. Um, I think what Have he you talked did. To him? No, I haven't talked to him. I mean, Do we talked to him in committee when he made his apology, and then he, you know, goes forward and cancels the hearing this week without even informing us. You know, that is someone who is hell bent on on pursuing a different um, path, and I think it's a path being directed by the White House. Okay, Congressman Jackie Spear. Thank you very much.